This is a video and audio geared specifically for my high IQ, high functioning readers, guys who are driven, guys who are perhaps a bit smarter than average. Um, hopefully I don't sound arrogant. I'm not the smartest person in the world. There are many more higher functioning, higher people who are more driven than me. But uh, it is something that is, is coming a lot from, from my personal reality, um, as well as from the clients that I've talked with and from the comments and questions that I've got from you guys. I know a lot of smart guys are watching my videos and audios, and uh, I want to give you what has worked for me and, and, and what's been working for some of my clients in, in these four small tips that you can make and add to your life. So if you find yourself you know, getting frustrated with you know, why is this guy doing this in traffic or, or why is my employee not do what I want or, or, you know, why does my girlfriend continually keep doing this? The, these tips are going to be super useful to you. Okay. So number one, first tip is lower your expectations. Okay. This is a big one. People are going to do dumb stuff in traffic. If you're living in Southeast Asia, which I love, by the way, the traffic here, the way people drive is insane. They drive like they don't care about their lives. They will risk their life and your life for shaving five seconds off of their travel time. So I expect people to do dumb stuff in traffic. I drive super slow. My friends make fun of me for driving like a grandfather. This is because traffic where I live is the biggest danger in my life. That is the biggest potential problem that I have right now. And everything is going, God willing, quite smooth for me. Uh, the last thing I want to do is mess it up by getting in an avoidable traffic accident, okay? I know that most dates are going to be mediocre, eight or nine out of 10 dates. Maybe seven out of 10 dates aren't going to be that great. I know that most women will be 10 to 15 minutes late, so I'm not surprised in either of those situations, all right? No offense to women, okay? But I'm just saying that's been my reality. Uh, I know that most guys I meet won't be part of my inner circle. That's okay, all right? Um, the client you've been cold calling for six months, who says he's going to sign the deal? Probably, you know, there's a good chance he won't sign that deal. Or there's a good chance that most of your potential prospects aren't going to come through. I know that from almost a, a decade in that I, I lived in sales. If you have employees, they are going to do things uh, wrong. They're going to do things at a lower standard than you would uh, because they're not as invested in the business as you are. They're also not as well trained as you are. And they are also maybe not as, 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 business savvy as you are. If they were, you would be working for them, not the other way around, okay? So lowering your expectations makes such a big difference because uh, one, you'll be less disappointed far less often, and then you will occasionally be pleasantly surprised when things go your way. Okay, now I'm not saying lower your expectations in life, lower your standards. My expectations for myself are super high because I can control a lot of things about what I'm doing, but I can't 100% control what other people are doing, okay? If you just get, instead of expecting 100% perfection from other people and, and circumstances in your life, lower those expectations down to 85% and you will be frustrated far less because frustration and anger comes from having a high expectation and that not being met. When, when those expectations are lower, your frustration levels are gonna be much lower and sometimes I'll just laugh when I see a, U, a guy U-turn in the middle of traffic and I'm driving so slow that it, it, it doesn't affect me, right? I'll just laugh and I'll think, of course he's doing that. Of course he's not thinking about it, right? That's number one. Number two is make structural change. So if you've lowered your expectations and you're lo looking for like 85% of stuff that's not 100% in your control, okay? So you, you've lowered your expectation of perfection down to 85% for, for things that are not, you know, completely within your control, that's going to do a lot, but if you're still finding yourself constantly frustrated, you're going to have to look into what you have control over, what's in your locus of control, and focus on making structural changes in those areas, okay? If you're constantly going to restaurants and being disappointed in the service and in the quality of food, find the right restaurants that you like and go to those. You know, I have five or 10 restaurants and, and those are pretty much the only places I eat or I just get them delivered on, on Food Panda and I don't have to leave. If you're finding yourself in clubs or, or places that you don't like or places where people start fights, go, go to the right venues, go to the nice lounge, go to the place that has soft music and nice girls and uh, people dress well at them, okay? Um, 
if, if you're constantly being frustrated with the girls in your life, maybe you don't have the right girls in your life. Maybe you would be better off uh, devoting that time to your, your business and your mission or focusing on finding the right girl and spending a lot of time with her. Um, maybe if you're constantly having problems with your employees, you don't have the right employees and you have to uh, search for better people. Okay. That, you know, or it could be a lack of training on your part and you're getting frustrated because they're not doing things a certain way, but it's because that you haven't trained them properly. Okay. Um, if you're getting frustrated in traffic a lot, maybe move closer to your office and have your office be in walking distance and never have to be in traffic or, you know, the people you're with that aren't accountable, do, do what I do, build a tribe of really cool accountable guys and spend the bulk of your free time with them, right? Simple structural changes make a massive difference. Like focus on building your ideal day. What are the things that frustrate you and make structural changes around those things? Number three, become more valuable, okay? So if you've lowered your expectations, you've made the structural changes, but you're still becoming frustrated, it could be because you're not valuable enough right now to be able to create the lifestyle and the reality that you want, okay? And um, the more work that you do on yourself and your business and, and the more valuable you become, the easier it's going to be to make those structural changes. So let me give you an example of becoming more valuable. One of the most valuable things in the world, and this sounds materialistic, but I have to tell you guys the truth, is, is having more money, okay? Okay. 